Tuned into the show last night. You knew that we interviewed Jarrett Speedy Peterson. Well, now I'm here again with Jarrett Speedy Peterson. So tell me why they call you Speedy. That actually started when I was about 11 years old. I had a checkered life jacket and a big old racing helmet, and I uh, didn't really grasp the concept of waiting in line. So I just run up the stairs uh, at, in Lake Placid, actually. Uh, and uh, Speed Racer was big on MTV, shortened to Speedy. They've stuck ever since. So now you're part of the U.S. Ski and Snowboard team. What is it that is your big event that you're known for? Freestyle aerials is what I do. Uh, the Lewis's put on pure artistry, pure magic. I want to strangle. I'm standing here beside myself right now after listening to that presentation on RSN as Resort Television. Is that right? It's Resort Sport. All right, since Uncle E finally shut up, let's talk about Ariel. That's what you're known for, right? Yeah, Ariel's. Uh, I'm the world champion or World Cup champion right now, and looking forward to this upcoming year. Obviously, being an Olympic year, I already have one win under my belt, so I'm feeling confident and ready to go. Absolutely. Now, tell me, how does it, you know, you got to have some really big cojones to go and do <laughs> these things. Now, do you just go up off of one of these big jumps and start, you know, flipping and everything else, or do you train someplace else for it? Yeah, you know, I... <laughs> It's either big balls or no brains or, or a combination of the two. Uh -huh. uh, you know, we actually train by jumping into a swimming pool. And, okay. uh, and that's how we train all summer long. And obviously it's uh, flat water, so you have to get used to the landing hill being a, a steep 36, 38 degree pitch. But other than that, it's a pretty easy transition over, over to, uh, to snow. So now you mentioned last night that you're going to look to pull something off this year in the Olympics. What are we going to look for? Gold medal, baby, for sure. And we're we're, uh, we're going to do a new trick. It's called the Hurricane. It's three flips, five twists, 3.2 seconds, 55 feet up in the air. So. 55 feet. 55 feet. You want to know how big we go when we flip? Go to the fifth story and look out the window and see if you jump or not. Now, how, about how fast are you going when you actually hit that jump? We're going in at about 40 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour. Now that's kind of sick. I've hit and gotten some air doing 30, 35 miles an hour, and you, you tend to soar, you know, a good 50, 60 feet. Oh, yeah, you carry for quite a while. Our momentum actually goes straight up, so we carry the momentum up into the air rather than a long way. So now, who are some of the heroes that you grew up watching? Uh, Trace Worthington, Chris Pedersen, they were my first coaches, actually. Uh, and then I saw my teammate, Eric Burgess, win a gold medal. And, uh, well, he wasn't my teammate at that time. But uh, that's when I keep going. That's okay. That's okay. Just stay over there. But that's when I uh, that's when I realized that uh, I want to do aerials. See, that's a great thing. Well, I wish you the best. Hopefully, you know, if we can find our way to be there, I'm gonna be cheering you Sounds on. Sounds good. We'll get you there. We'll interview you. Go hang out and all of that. Perfect. All Sounds right. good. Thanks, man. Thanks again. All right, here we are. We're still in Boston. We're getting ready to leave. It's been a long couple of days for us. Stay tuned. We're gonna fill out some of our veterans. Uh, Veteran, New England Veterans Association information. As you see, we bought it. We're doing our part. I want you to do your part. Support a veteran. Yesterday I didn't have the words to say. Oh, but I have them now.